Gathering long-term baseline data sets, especially when there are competing uses of the marine environment, is absolutely critical. This was confirmed on the 21st of August in 2009. The Montara platform in the Timor Sea, 250 kilometres off the Kimberley coast, was in trouble. It was an uncontrolled incident where oil and gas leaked continually for 74 days when the wellhead blew out. Thankfully, emergency protocols saved the 69 workers that day with no fatalities. It was, however, the marine environment that suffered the greatest impact. Oil and gas leaked continually for 74 days, an estimated 29,600 barrels in total, with the extent of the oil and oil residue estimated to have spread over 6,000 square kilometres. It is considered Australia's worst oil spill of its kind. The northern regions, as everyone's aware, is where the next big resource boom is already happening. While we have some information, a lot of the discussions with uh, the company uh, who own Montara were um, hampered because there isn't any information or the risks are hard to quantify. No one wants to have uh, an environmental accident as a consequence of any engineering activity. So the way to do this is to understand how the ocean moves, what the processes are, so we can manage both the engineering and the environmental applications in a balanced and a very sustainable way. When you get a major oil spill, I can assure you that the first thing that happens is people want to know which way the, the, the spill is likely to drift, what are the currents, what are the interconnections of the, uh, of the oceans, um, what is the likely uh, and then the risks to the fauna, what is the risk to the flora, what is the risk to the ocean bed uh, and the like. And you only need to have an oil spill example, which we've had one in the north and western Australia, and we've had, of course, the big one in America, to show that unless you have that basic information available, uh, then uh, the oil spill uh, difficulty uh, simply uh, becomes uh, increased enormously if the data is not there. The WAMSI partners therefore share a common belief that baselines collected at a regional scale are fundamental in determining the trade-offs in multiple-use marine management, as well as for gauging future impacts.